Hi guys, welcome back. This is part two of our 2021 World of Walker video. If you haven't seen part one, you can go watch it up here and let's get going. All right, and then we just see the shot of Faded and then this character's profile. Now this is going to be a long one, but this gives the Walker in Faded not only an identity, but a backstory and explains what happens in it. So this is Walker number 22. If you want to get back to the video, the timestamp after this reading will be on screen. Okay. So this is Walker number 22, whose name is, dear God, I don't know this. So he was born in Bulgaria and he's a member of the modern Walker. So the solar storm that will destroy all the technology in the world is approaching the earth. Number 22's laptop screen flickers, a small sign of the coming doomsday. Very early in the morning before the cities wake up, he secretly carries out a task for the contents of the time capsule. He hunts for deserted and abandoned rooms where walkers can spread and produce time capsules, the event seen in tired, eight places will be produced and buried in exquisite locations worldwide. This must be done in secret, away from the powerful company Red Nexus and their sinister intentions. These are the events seen in a long part two. Number 22 is therefore looking for a large vacated industrial premise hidden from view. Now, this is where a lot of Alan Walker videos seem to be set. Um, you can see that his home place is in Talan, Estonia. Um, and even more interestingly, we have a timeline down here. Now I know we had a timeline that was correct at some point, it was confirmed, um, but a few things did switch places because now Faded happens directly before Tired. So he will be planning out where to put all of these capsules and then once he has all the locations established, all the walkers get there, start building their time capsules in enough time for Tired to happen, then obviously the solar storm would hit. Not that they can control when that happens, but this will be done at least well in advance in my opinion. And then Faded is in 2025, and tired is in 2025 and then it says when i'm in and then i can't read the last word now this is probably the next song or something else coming soon so keep that in mind um and then we keep going on and it says faded number 22 is also tasked with finding the most important location of them all the place where the new world of walker will be built after the ravages of the solar storm have calmed down together the walkers have decided that the city will be created at the location where number zero grew up now, I want to make a note, this is not actually where Alan grew up. He is not in this abandoned looking place. He actually grew up in England, but this is not that. So remember, Alan, in the fictional world, grew up in Estonia. That the city will be created at the location where Number Zero grew up, built on the childhood home of the founder of the modern walkers. Number 22 is close to being discovered by Red Nexus observers. He runs away in fear of being discovered and revealing walkers, the walkers' magnificent plan. A plan that could potentially save all of humanity. Number 22 finally finds the foundations of where Zero's childhood home stood here. One day, the world of Walker will be created. And then it just gives detail about the video and where everything was shot. I'm not going to go over that now. I've already babbled on about this for so long. All right. Hey, everyone. This is just an editor's note. I want to point out this scene with Margreta standing at under. And this is where Alan's Time Remix was filmed. And we also saw Suzanne, the actress who played 28300, uh, there as well. So I'm going to take this as an assumption that 2300 will also appear in the aviation movie or whatever this is. Um, she just hasn't been heavily teased as a main character. So maybe this is going to be the end of her character arc. I'm not 100% sure, but I just wanted to point out this parallel. Okay, bye. So this is a name on screen. I can't pronounce it. The location of Dark Side. Um, so you may be familiar with this. And again, Margareta is here. She's our protagonist. So this is what I'm going to be dubbing the Aviation Hut because this is, as you'll see, it not only has an aviation logo on it, but helps like transport her into the aviation tour world. I don't know if this actually is like a teleportation device or whether it just like puts her in this AR world. I'm thinking it's the latter just based on the context. What you'll see is, yeah, she pretty much goes into the aviation tour. This was filmed in Oslo. Yeah, so around like a month and a year ago from now. And pretty much what you'll see, yeah, you just see some intermixed clips of things from the show. And then you get this really interesting clip of the stone pillar breaking. Now, I know we haven't talked about Atlantis on this channel, but Faded itself references Atlantis, which may sort of be a representative of the ancient Walker civilization. Regardless, this represents it being torn down. Yay, Steve Aoki, even though he was not in the aviation tour, will be uh, featured in this. I mean, he looks kind of like he just woke up and isn't happy about it, but I'm sure he'll be more excited during the actual parts of the movie. So that is exciting. 
If you do want more behind the scenes footage on everything we think might be part of this aviation movie, head up here. And now we actually cut to this very interestingly edited part of the aviation show. Now this looks like Sofia Simeo, she's saying Diamond Heart. I don't know if she's gonna be featured in this, but just wasn't live at the aviation show. Or this is somebody else and I'm completely like off. But they, they tried to make it look like she was at the show. They tried. Um, I'm not gonna shame anyone who edited this. I get that it's only in there for a few seconds, but I think it's just interesting to note that she was not there live, but she will apparently be part of this ensemble. Oh, and now we're gonna see Margretta and this old walker that we've seen in previous videos, not only in All Falls Down and Dark Side, but in Alone Part 2 as well. Um, so if we're gonna go back on the topic of Red Nexus, if he was alive when Alone Part 2 happened and then Red Nexus sort of took over and everything, if he was helping 28300, he might have gone into hiding and then become like a recluse or a hermit and then helped future walkers that came along. I do want to establish that he is a recurring character and I think who he is is probably very important. So I hope we learn. <laughs> Again, just clips from the aviation game, I guess. Okay, this is very interesting. Now, this is the Walker City. Now, I'm going to assume this is not the Walker City that was referred to in the whole Faded thing, but they always mention that there are eight Walker Cities around the world. Now, eight is a significant number. I won't get into that now, but if you see these maps from either On My Way or Diamond Heart, they do have eight locations on them. It is not entirely clear where these locations actually are because both, both maps are completely different. But it looks like this might be one of them because it has this massive city in the shape of a walker shape. This is also very similar to Ellen's manager and who runs MER, his label. Something similar as his computer wallpaper. I'll put it up on screen. That's just interesting to note because maybe that is the master walker city. And they have all these different monuments and sneak peeks from all these different music videos. Like you see prophecy discs and monoliths and megaliths and literally everything was there. All right, now this is very interesting. I can't tell if these are actually red cloaks, but this is the same design seen on the Diamond Heart disc. So maybe this is meant to be another group of walkers that was living uh, through Diamond Heart. I don't know. But you do see a lot of overlap between all these World of Walkers music videos sort of coming back and all converging at one point. I think that is something that might be happening in this video or movie or film. So this is pretty similar to what we saw on the cover art for Diamond Heart, particularly its remixes, where you see all these drones building and scanning. Um, but again, very similar to what we saw in Avum as well, the music video that wasn't really a music video, but you know what I mean? All right, now this is also a very interesting one where Margareta chooses what player she wants to be or see as throughout this AR experience in the show. Now she chooses Alan, obviously, and we're gonna see him sort of materialize and what confuses me more than the fact that Alan is a hologram is that Juliander is an option and he was one of the performers at the show. Does this mean that every person at the aviation tour show wore a body cam and now you can see the world through their perspective? Or is this like fan cams and then you can watch the entire aviation show or some digital concert with an emphasis on just seeing that one performer? Yeah, this is just Alan materializing, already showed that. All right. Now, again, I didn't mention it earlier, but this is the faded backpack and alone backpack. So again, this is the um, monolith symbol. And then I don't really know what's going on with the screens in the background, like what this car thing is. Some people have said it kind of looks like Back to the Future. I wish more or less, I think that is pretty much it. Yeah, as I addressed earlier, will this be one item or will it be two? I don't know, but I'm guessing it's just me personally, I'm thinking it's gonna be more than one, but feel free to discuss in the comments. Because as I said earlier, if it was gonna be one item, I don't know why they wouldn't have just marketed it as that, unless they wanted to be mysterious and build hype. Now, another interesting thing I wanna bring up is the music video reshoots that we've been seeing happening. Now, in a lot of behind the scenes footage, we've seen Alan wearing either outfits that seem very reminiscent of other music videos, that being Different World or Faded or Alone. I mean, I have no guarantee that these are gonna be part of the aviation movie or music video or whatever this 2021 World of Walker is. But I do want to point them out that they might exist and they might be part of this. Now, I'm going to move on to the descriptions of some of Alan's posts and mu videos. Alan says the original faded music video and then links the original faded mu music video. But that also implies that there is a new faded music video, which 
This trailer is not a new mu Faded music video. Is the Aviation movie, will, because that expands on Faded so much, will that be considered its new music video? I don't know. Alan also said that as part of his 2021 releases, he would release another rendition of a favorite Hans Zimmer song of his. Now, he said this was sort of played in the background and it was inspired by whatever song was in this video. And that song, thank you, is Hummel Gets the Rockets. Now, I'm not incredibly familiar with this song, but you can expect a new rendition or re remix or at least interpolation of some of those melodies into Alan's music within the next upcoming year. And our big announcement in some of Alan's other posts, he has confirmed he will release an album in 2021. Now, this is exciting, but I think it would also explain part of the 2020 content drought where he wasn't doing anything because everything that he and his team were making was going towards next year. We've even heard what some of the collaborators might be. Um, Rehab confirmed that he was collaborating with Alan. K391 is always on the list of possible people. Steve Aoki, he just randomly popped in for no reason. He could be on there. Sophia Sameo, again, all these people could definitely be possible collaborators in the future and anyone else who may have just been commenting a lot on Alan's posts or something. But I definitely do give people who were featured in this video a very high probability of being one of the collaborators on this album. I think that's all we have for today. Now, if you're looking for even more information, there's probably something that I missed that I've maybe dropped down in the description or somebody's mentioned in the comments. So be sure to check down there, leave some thoughts of your own. So hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. If you want to subscribe, feel free. We're really close to 25K, so that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, I will see you guys soon.